Welcome back. We are kicking off our trending stories by celebrating a very special birthday. Mm. Take a look at our hot topics brought to you by American Girl Live at Walton Arts Center. Well, today we celebrate the queen of daytime talk shows, yes. Oprah Winfrey. Happy birthday, Auntie O. Yes, the former TV host turned media mogul, actor, and billionaire celebrates 70 years today, if you can believe it. Born in 1954 in Mississippi, Winfrey is best known for her talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show. The revolutionary show isn't her only accomplishment in her 70 years, of course. Winfrey has numerous accolades, including multiple Emmys and a Tony. In 1985, Winfrey received her first Oscar nomination for her performance in The Color Purple. And then in 2014, she received a nomination for her time as a producer on the Best Picture nominated film, Selma. So, yes, yes. Great. Has her hands in all the things. I remember when she first launched her own channel, that was like a huge deal. Huge. Um, of course, she, you know, part of the production team of uh, The Color Purple that yeah. just got re-released yes. as well. So, happy birthday, Auntie L. Definitely goals. Yes, goals. I know life goals right there. <laughs> well, actor Barry Kogan, did I say that right? You got um, it. He's been named Harvard University's Hasty Pudding Theatricals Man of the Year for 2024. Uh, he recently starred, of course, in the psychological thriller Salt Burn. I know a lot mm -hmm. of people really, really talking about this movie and saying how good it is. So yeah. that's on my list to watch. Uh, he can also be seen in the World War II series Masters of the Air. Hasty Pudding Theatricals uh, dates back to 1844 uh, and they've been handing out this award since 1967. Previous recipients include Samuel L. Jackson, Robert De Niro, and most recently Bob Odenkirk. The award is given to people who have made lasting contributions to the world of entertainment. Yes, yeah, I would say watch Saltburn, uh, maybe not not with any kids. Okay, <laughs> no. okay, no, that's that's good to know. What else? What else Nowhere do we need to know? Nowhere in the vicinity. I feel like just from what I've been told from people that I, I do need to maybe have an open mind. Yes. Okay. Yes, and you're gonna grit your teeth like through the whole thing, like kind of like. Okay. <laughs> cringe <laughs> okay but in a great way yes okay well the Kansas City Chiefs will take on the San Francisco 49ers in a rematch of the 2020 Super Bowl game oh. the Chiefs took down the top seed of Baltimore Ravens 17 to 10 on Sunday in the AFC championship game the defending champs will go to their fourth Super Bowl in the last five years over in the NFC the 49ers mounted a furious comeback to outlast the Detroit Lions 34 to 31 to win that game the NFC Championship game. The 49ers secured their second trip to the big game in the last five years. The Super Bowl will be played on Sunday, February 11th. I'm excited about this one. I love you see Brock Purdy there. I feel like he's always getting getting a little bit of shade from oh. people um, because maybe he's not. They they say quote unquote he's not the most athletic quarterback, but I mean he's in the NFL, so come on. And taking the team to the Super Bowl, so right. I mean haters gonna hate. Yeah, that's uh, right. but also I was rooting for the Lions. Not gonna lie, a lot of people you were. Know, I am from the Midwest, yeah. and you know I know in the past that they haven't been that great. So I love Cinderella stories, but congratulations to these teams. I think there's a Razorback, correct? That oh, plays yeah. for the 49ers. Oh yeah, yeah. There's Razorbacks on both sides oh, of, nice. uh, of the ball. So okay, um, so even better reason to cheer yeah. for the Taylor Swift Bowl. That's right. You got it. Right. Well, explicit deep fake images of Taylor Swift are circulating online, making the pop star the most famous victim of uh, this issue. Tech, pla tech platforms, of course, are trying to combat. The White House called the circulation of the images alarming, and they've been circulating um, on social media for about a week or so, with the most engagement happening on X. Swifties to the rescue, yeah. though, took to the platform with the hashtag protect Taylor Swift flooding the site with positive images of the singer and reporting accounts who were sharing those deep fake images. Yeah, you got to go after them, right? And spread spread some love and some positivity. I know it's a troubling trend we see happening right yeah. now. Speaking.